And now we do the level that we were supposed to do. After keys. <clears throat> we've, uh, we've sidetracked a little bit. I think it was worth it, though. You know, check in on the elites, see what they were doing. I feel like I'm gonna miss the sword, though, now. <laughs> Because this is also a tightly enclosed area type level with a lot of pitch black spaces. <laughs> We're coming in on the pelican. Nice, nice continuity. I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice touch. Right. Ah, flashlight, it's never gonna compare to the sword. I, I feel like a pelican should leave like a little, of a little bit of wreckage, right? Can I go down there? Let's go down there and, yeah, no, I can't go down there. <laughs> Well, I mean, worth a shot, right? We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. <laughs> yeah, no chance. Okay. Right, well, we can actually use human weapons again. That's also, like, a nice thing. Brute shot, though. Brute shot, turret. I, yeah, I'm fairly satisfied with that. Now, yeah, well, may as well go down. Very nice. Cosmic Um mm. Shotgun. How much is in the shotgun? Not that much. Uh, we'll keep the turret. Okay, this is where the pitch blackness starts to set in. got a checkpoint. You know, I might go back for that shotgun now, actually. You know? Yeah. It just became a good situation to do that. Especially considering there'll be some extra shells on the floor now. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's, that, that's just that's just a hunter. I'm I'm apparently top tier blind. We'll we'll we'll, we'll let them sort things out amongst themselves. We've got places to be after all. Uh, I'm jealous of that guy's sword. Was that all of them? I think that was all of them. Okay then. trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! Well, I mean, of course you're coming with me. What are you gonna do? Stay here while it blows up? Let's, let's just let's just go. <laughs> Ain't got no time for sentinels. Hey, hey, hey. How the Okay. How do I at least shoot me through that closed door? Like, I kind of want to know, but I also kind of don't really care. Ow. You know... I'm really... I'm really... Really missing that fucking sword right about now. I keep thinking I can just approach a group of enemies like a warrior god and just take them all on with my bare hands, but I can't. Well, maybe not my bare hands, but you know what I mean. None of that, none of that shooting me through walls business. That's illegal. Shotgun shells. Nice. Rocket launcher? Oh, rocket... It's empty. Fucking of course it's empty. Oh no, there's some rockets here. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take him because there's no, uh... There's not much in the turret. They might come in handy for something, who knows. I've got plenty of shotgun to go around as well. Alright. Oh, right, well. I think we found what the rocket launch is for. Which is why we wasted both of the rockets. 
and we're gonna just ignore them because apparently that wasn't even the way to go. Replacement weapon, please. I said replacement weapon, please. Thank you. Oh, this isn't even the way to go. It's in here that we want to go. God, it's so dark in here that even the flashlight isn't really helping. I can't see the enemies. I'm, well, they probably can see me, but, like, it's not worth asking if they can't, but... Uh, can you... Can you please not? The Sentinel Beam would be probably pretty neat right about now. Last time, I think I had a heck of a time here. Jesus, how many fucking dudes are there? Oh, damn. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's be a bit more careful this time. No, just grenades. Okay. Grenades and regenerating health that I already had on. I think let's take this this time. Well, the bomb rush approach went went pretty decently. Honestly, I feel like I've said this before, but I feel like uh, one of the major problems with the sheer amount of shit that they pack into these levels is the potential for just like some enemy flags to kind of get stuck. I mean, we had this just just fucking you know in in, in the last level we did. Uh, fucking commander evolved where just like you know I approached an area and dudes spawned regardless of whether or not I'd actually killed those dudes already no disturberino no disturberino I'll take the shotgun shells though so yeah like the flag that kind of causes the flag that spawns enemies to I guess like despawn itself sort of seems to fail in this mod uh, a not insignificant amount and that's probably one of my biggest complaints about it so I'm gonna just kind of take a bum rushy approach and having a flashlight makes me a bit less afraid of the dark although I will admit I feel like I would rather the sword like having the having the sword is not something I would complain about but it also makes the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the feeling of being alone in the dark set in a bit more because you're, uh, in the dark a lot more of the time. With very little way of kind of alleviating it. Jesus, it is really fucking dark here, though, because the flashlight barely, you know, it's not that much distance that that the light seems to travel, so... Oh well. At least, at least I've got all these wonderful shotgun shells to keep me company. It is extremely dark. I, 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 I know I keep saying it, but like... 
look how fucking dark it is. It's so dark that I'm actually kind of worried that the video is going to render properly. Oh, well. Please no dis- That was- uh, No disturberino. Jesus fucking Christ. You think I'd get used to the jump scares after, after just you know, so many, so many of them keep happening. You know, it's the same type of shit every time. Oh, uh, you see, when it happens directly in front of you, it's fine. But when it's like even just like a slight bit like off center, it, it's it's just startling. And it. Okay, let's just punch these out. Oh, it's this room. Hey, hey. That that's that is extremely rude. Okay, are they done dropping in on top of me? I hope they're done dropping in on top of me. The shotgun shells are actually a considerable amount less plentiful. That's grim and doesn't look like it's the way to... Oh, I guess that will have to be the way to go then. I guess that means that... Did they cut a room out of this level? They must have done. I'm actually not going to complain about that, because it would have been probably impossible to traverse. Like, uh, I, I say that as though... Oh no, maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm thinking of a bit later on. Yeah, it must be. Oh, flamethrower. That is... Very nice. Well, this isn't the way to go, but... Uh, consolation prize. Oh, there's another one. Okay, very confined space. We'll take we'll take the fresh one. Down we go. Down into the abyss. Okay, yeah, this is this is the room I was thinking of. And I think I'm gonna save a checkpoint. There's there's like statistically no way this isn't the room I was thinking of. Yeah it is. Okay, well. And that's the doorway that I thought I was clearing out with grenades before. Oh well, I think I just I think I just flamethrowed myself to death there. Okay, well let's let's try that again.
Okay, I have no idea what just happened then. What? Fucking great. Well, I mean, it's so dark, it's like nearly impossible to see where you're supposed to be going at this point. This room's a bit like easier because there's some red stuff to kind of like outline the path. But like, okay, now this is, this is official craziness. Okay, well, yeah. Begging for trouble there. Okay, let's just he had a shotgun, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that there's shotgun shells. Probably gonna have to take that bit a little bit slower. Oh well. Great. Probably not going to be able to lob even that high up. Fucking can't jump up there. Jeez, this is this is tricky. The fucking droning sound is not It's not to the credit here, I think. I need to try and keep shields up at all costs. backpedal a tad to give myself more space. Wait, gravity grenade. Give him the Vauban special. Well, that that ought to be it. I feel like if, I, if that if that's taken care of enough of them that I can proceed through this left area, which it looks like it has, then I don't need to worry about those dudes up there. And this is where I hope that this is the the right way. And it looks like it is. Brought to you by the color red. That's a that's a reasonable number of carrier forms. When I say reasonable, I mean larger than is good for one's health. Alright, well let's no, you, you can't ride the elevator. It's it's just not allowed. Alright, so now the lift's gonna break. And I'm low on ammo. Probably should have picked up something else. But we'll see how well this lasts. Okay, it's time to get sideways. Well, that sounds like a gun. Gun? Please, gun? I could swan I heard a shredder. Really? 
Nothing. Okay, well, the, the next enemy I see better give me a gun. If one of you has a gun, that would be lovely. SMG. I think that's our own SMG. There we go. Haven't used you in a while. Always had bigger guns than this. It's got a lot of ammo, too. Perfect for dealing with all this popcorn. Okay, well. Battle rifle's probably not going to be that good at this kind of range. Assault rifle might not be too bad. Please no disturb Arena. Good, good. Got shotgun in the back. Oh no. This again. Okay, well. Well, there was a shredder this time. Okay, we, we can keep track of where that went. Okay, can use the flamethrower to finish these guys off. Or, or just use it to get ourselves killed. Take three. Well, take four. <laughs> Let's just handle things from a safe distance, why not? Ow, that was... <laughs> that was... That was... That was my own fault. No one to blame but me. Combat Evolve signature fucking chain reaction grenade explosions do not mesh well with spaces this tight. And points. And where'd that shredder go? The secret answer seems to be that there is no shredder. Fucking fine, I guess I'll do it the hard way. Which is come here and get pick up the SMG off the motherfuckers that fall from the ceiling. No Disturberino. Actually, no Disturberino this time. Okay, let's take this room a little bit more, uh... A little bit more at pace, shall we? That's a lot of dudes. And the fact that that is a lot of dudes should be at the forefront of our concern. And... 
Melee attacking is very useful, but on the other hand, it also changes the angle that the flashlight is pointing, which is all kinds of unhelpful. Huh, overshields. I'll take that. Didn't some guy have some shotgun shells? Oh, we'll take the brute shot. Because we have uh, no shotgun shells. Okay, well, we got a checkpoint. That's, that's worth something. Jesus God, that's... I was dreading getting to this point. Because that is just the peak of unpleasant. gun? I would like another gun. Uh, anyway, let's just do the format. Let's do the do the formality. A friend of mine once asked me, uh, re well, well, once <laughs> recently asked me, what's my least favorite level trope? Like, you know, you know, sand level, water level. I said flesh level, alright? This, this right here never ceases to make me uncomfortable. Now, if we're thinking about it, it makes zero sense that these bodies haven't been infected yet. Like, why are there just, you know, bodies in what appears to be the dormitory that aren't, aren't being used as, as combat forms? Like, that... That is a question. Alright, well. We're approaching the regular section of level now. The the non-SPP3 stuff. Like, uh, anyway, as, mu as much as it seems like a nice detail... Oh, jeez. Well, that, that, was, that was definitely not the correct thing to do. As much as it seems like, you know, nice, you know, like, additional details to to throw in, you know, those, those, those bodies there, it makes genuinely zero sense. Oh, wait, I'm... I'm being shot from behind. Lovely. Okay, well, I definitely want to be going here. I said I definitely want to be going there. Why, why is there no good way to go? Okay, let's just... Can you, can you give me a gun? <laughs> can you not confine my movement so much that I can't go anywhere? Alright, let's... Oh, jeez! Just pick that up. Ignoring you. Oh, jeez. Can we do a hunter dance indoors? Ow. Yes, seems to be the answer. That was probably the most confined Halo C Hunter Dance known to man. But it beats the the it I suppose it, it's it's more elaborate 
than the than the literal no dancing that was done the last time I did this level. Jeez, he takes for some fucking punishment, doesn't he? Okay, well, we got his gun, so. Right, we're almost there. Oh wait, hang on, no, we can't go here yet. We need, uh... We need some explosives. Rocket launcher. If I remember correctly, there are some invisible flood dudes here. I want to take them out before anything else. Where are they? There we go. Come at me, you motherfuckers. No shotgun. Is that all of them? Nope. Got turret and rocket launcher, that's all we need. Shotgun might have been nice, but this is what we want. This is the answer. Right. Engine room located. We're here. Oh! Casual hunter. You can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough Wait, that's not the way to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk it with First, we need to pull back the exhaust cover. That will expose the shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive. So every time I play this level, I completely forget where the way up is. It's this way, yeah. Let's just reload before we before we go on ahead. There's a hunter up here. That's just that's just rude. All right, well, let's. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion. No, no, fuck. There is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Well, I gotta go back up now. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engine. That's. That is a lot of shit to get through. I think I got it. No, apparently not. There we go. 
worked out at that time. And we're gonna have to get past that hunter. Or we're just gonna drop down, shatter on kneecaps, and feel real bad. Okay, let's mosey on our way, uh, mosey our way back on up. <laughs> Can't believe I fell down twice. We still got five rockets, so. Actually, an interesting question for science is I wonder if you can do it with a brute shot. I'm not gonna try it because I, I'd rather get this done, like, expediently rather than, you know, experimentally. But, you know, as I say, a question for science. Science. Science is it, always in pursuit of the answers. I wonder, if, I wonder if anyone actually speedruns SPV3. Open the fucking vents. Why didn't that work? Why isn't this working? It's rude. Why isn't this working? Well, I'm officially out of explosives now. So much for getting it done reliably. I guess we are going to have to do the brute shot science. Yeah, that's looking like a solid nope. Well, I mean, going back to the checkpoint isn't the most terrible thing in the world, because it means that we get a chance at trying that again. No idea why that didn't work. Did I not shoot directly enough? Ow. Well, I stood in the fire. Like the smart guy that I am. When I say smart guy, I mean grade A retard. Let's make sure we get it this time. There we go. get up there again. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Ow, brute shot. No! 
Oh, fuck no, I'm back here. Why is there no way up there outside of walking through the fire? Oh, no. I keep falling. She. This is not the smoothest run of this level I've ever done. Far from it. Hmm. I don't have any gravity grenades this time. Just use them there. Okay. Let's blow these open this time. See, it's working seamlessly now. Why did I have to fucking sink four, ro like five rockets into it, and have it not work the the the, time, the, the previous attempt? Wait, this, I didn't hit the button. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Shields back. Hey. Okay. Got one rocket, and I'm gonna use it on this elevator. Okay. Okay, that worked. Oh, I apparently had two rockets, but okay. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Right. Last stretch. Cortana to Echo 419. Come in, Echo 419. Roger, Cortana. I read you. This part of the game will never not be epic. Get in one of these this time. Last time I did the mongoose, but uh, I feel like doing things a bit more by the book this time. Jesus Christ, look how many of those there are. I think the time of graphics is a bit different than it was last time as well, huh? and go around the sides, but it ended up backfiring. Because otherwise I have to fucking come out the side here, and that's slower, and and I'm, I'm losing health on my Warthog. And that just ain't good. Okay, Jesus, I almost fell off the side like three times there. I'm concerned now because my warthog's, uh, you know, slightly on fire. I 
feel like this may not be the way to go. Not exactly, but hey, I mean, it works. Okay, we're about halfway there. Wait, stop. This is where Bohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again, evade. Tragic as always. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in launch bay seven. If we move now, we can make it. Oh, I gotta do this part with a fucking half health warthog. We can do that though. We're not just gonna clear it, we're gonna fucking 360 this thing, let's go! Three sixty, let's go! Warhog's in the way. What the hell's shooting? Shade turrets? Fucking crazy. Almost there. Come on. Yeah. We're safe. We're in that. And that's it. Yep. We did it again. You know, there was a lot more procrastination of me doing this 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 time. Did anyone else make it? But scanning. I think it held up. Just dust and echoes. We are all that's left. I had fun. We did what we had to do. And I liked the new stuff. But I think any critiques I had the first time still stand. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. The fact that there's simply a lot more in this mod, in terms of like how, like how densely packed the levels are, 
is both to its f it's both to its favor and to its detriment in equal measure. Mechanically, I think the 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 additions still feel real good. The extra weapons and such, uh, you know, are pretty nice additions to the sandbox. Even if it like saturates certain like you know types of weapon maybe a bit more than is like fully necessary. But at, at the end of the day, this mod is still real solid. And by the time I upload this, Halo Reach should be out on PC. So, you know, I'm I'm not really in a mood to complain about about things being, you know, imperfect. Because after all, we're in, we're in we're about to I feel like we're on the uh the onset of an uh, of like a, a new golden age of Halo. If if Infinite is good, and Reach and in general the MCC doesn't launch poorly on 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 PC, I think this franchise is going to return to the top. But yeah. What do I think about this mod overall, in its current state, after having played through it the second time? Overall, I still like it. Really good. And I think, possibly, like, even though I expressed extreme discomfort at some parts of the Commander, not the Commander Evolved, the, uh, I'm, I'm talking specifically about the first one here, I think that's my new favorite level in this mod. The atmosphere in that level is seriously through the roof. But yeah. This is great. This is a great mod and I would recommend anyone play it. Anyone who's a fan of Halo. As for the more though, uh, just the more in specific, I think that like... When I last played through this mod, like, the more was dark. But it wasn't nearly as pitch black as that. And the commander had its fair share of dark sections, but nowhere, they were nowhere near as, as like hard to navigate as that. And and you didn't even have a flashlight as, um, as fell. So, yeah, I think that's not exactly to the Moor's favor. But overall, the mod still holds up, and I'm, I'm happy to have done done it a second time. At some point, I'll come back and revisit Lumoria. Or, I suppose, visit for the first time. I've never played the original Lumoria mod, so I, I'm, I'm somewhat excited for what the SPV3 version holds, simply because it's it'll be entirely new territory for me in terms of, like, well, everything. But, um... But, yeah. I imagine that won't be for a while, though, because I think I'll be getting my Halo fix from Reach soon. Because at time of recording, it's still a couple of days until Reach comes out on PC. But when it does come out on PC, I'll be having a grand old time with it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks for joining me on this little escapade. I'll see you next time.